anything's possible. Anything's possible. For the first time I believe that, I, I feel like there's so much in here. Hey, it's David. Welcome back to the channel. In case you're new around here, I'm a sniper turned meditator and yogin, and I'm also the director of Kailash Ashram, a dedicated meditation and yoga retreat center out here in the Grampian. On our channel, we love to share ancient wisdom to inspire you to meditate and practice yoga every single day. Oh, and extra karma points if you like the video and hit subscribe. The Soul Retreat is a super, super powerful five day, four night retreat. And we are just blown away by the beautiful souls that are drawn to us and also the profound realizations that they come to whilst they're out here. I encourage you to watch on and listen more to Jane herself as she describes some of her experiences prior, during and after the soul retreat. I feel peace. I feel space. I feel now just sitting here with you a little bit emotional. Relief, yeah, relief's probably the biggest, the biggest thing. It's like I haven't felt like this since I was a kid. Mm. And there's a little bit of sadness that I've spent all those years trying to be, or being, you know, like the conditioned self mm. in life. Um, well, I'd been doing some work and one of the things that I had been doing in particular was I decided to stop drinking um, because it was a big part of our social life and it was the kind of like the last point of integrity for me. Mm. Um, and I learned to trust myself by doing that. And I feel like it's the first time that I trusted myself for a long, 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 long time. Um, so when I came across you guys, it just resonated with like, this is the next, the next part of finding myself, but I needed to do the other part yeah. before it, I would have been receptive to this. Um, yeah. So that was really important. I do a lot of journaling and a lot of creative journaling, um, but mostly just journaling um, mm. to get, because my mind was so busy. Mm. Um, I've done self-development courses and all the things, um, yeah. read a lot, mm. um, but what I, what I know is that without, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but without practice and regular practice of anything and waking up every day, yeah. it's just, it just goes. It was a, a beautiful sequence that we did, um, completely different to any, any of the, I've been to yoga on Tuesdays, um, which was amazing. It was just absolutely beautiful. It was hard, parts of it, particularly the leg stuff. Um, and my inner, you can't make me do it, kicked in a few times, but I trusted, I trusted you guys um, and the process and pushed through. And when we did it this morning by myself, without the instruction as such, like it was just beautiful. So one of the biggest things is to trust myself um, that I, to continue to do that um, and to set up that space um, and time to do that. So that's, that's a, uh, a constant sort of battle. But as I said, I think by doing the process of giving up wine or whatever is it's sort of I've I've um, learned to trust myself that I'll continue to do that um, I've joined yes uh, because I think having what I've learned is having the accountability and and showing up with other people who are on the same wavelength and journey um, is really important so I'm excited about that and 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 more excited to integrate it into my life. Oh God, it was so nice to be surrounded by people who were willing to look inside and just beautiful. It was just it was such a relief to, to be in the presence of those sorts of people. It was amazing.
and they were fun. Yeah. Like we had so much fun. They're just every normal, you know, normal everyday people. Yeah. Um, not there not was, the there, there was no yoga. No, like, God, yeah, no. let, let me. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. And so diverse. <laughs> yeah. So diverse, but just oh, that was that was great. Yeah. yeah. We were pretty lucky there. Um, I was only saying this morning when I came out of meditation to look around and to not think of things as a threat as in having been through bushfires and you know looking and and then the emu came across and you know I mean I live in the bush but um, there has there is elements of it that is scary but I feel like I've got a whole new appreciation for it so I'm pretty excited to get back to (laughs) so that nature come out well that's the thing and that's what I've been trying to create space for is to be to get my flow so I'm I feel a lot more confident in that now yeah just just let go see what happens doing the soul work you find yourself you feel like you find yourself and I've been looking for that and doing a lot of things in life to find that but I just I don't know it just feels like it the practices that I've learned and the things that we did just brought that home yeah um, and it's a relief to know that she's still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank God, after all the bashing she's been getting. Um, and and there's a thank you. There's an internal thank you, like for saying thank you for bringing me back. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to Jane and, and hearing a little bit more about her story. These retreats just blow us away. We're always so deeply, deeply humbled to witness profound transformation and realisation occur in, in normal people. You can check out a little bit more about the Soul Retreat in the description below. If you're on the other side of the world and you're not yet ready to fly halfway around the world to to visit us in Australia, a a great place to start with the same practices that we share during the Soul Retreat is on our seven week meditation challenge, Seven Weeks to the Soul. So again, there's a link in the description below. Jayat Meshwa, bye.